Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flicks, Picks, and the Nitpicks. And I am your humble host, Snow718. Man, and we're going to get right into this Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings official teaser trailer. I did not realize that this is where they were going to go. They was going to drop it. Now we're going to have to um, see what they got in store for us with the next Marvel installment. I'm not really excited with Shang-Chi. I'm not going to lie. Like, I didn't follow him in the comics. Uh, I'm aware of him, obviously. I'm a comic book reader. But Shang Chi was never like my guy, you know. I mean, that's what was the wonderful thing about comics growing up is that there's so many different types of characters out there that whoever you wanted to gra you gravitated towards is who you gravitated towards, and those are the characters you might support or look up to or what have you. It just says Shang Chi for me never was really a guy I of particular interest, no particular reason, no hate involved, just. Never really was interested in his story like that. But maybe this will be the turnaround for me and make me want to go dig in the crates and look up what he's done in the comic books. I mean, you just never know. Sometimes these these, these films can actually create an audience for the comics and make you want to go back and look and see what you've missed out on. So I'm looking forward to see what Marvel's going to do because I'm a Marvel head, so you already know. So let's go check it out. And see what we got in store for us from the next installment for Marvel. Now let's get it in. Okay. Feel like a healthy size. Trailer. Oh, all right, they're really gonna show something. I thought it was gonna be like a clip show. Okay. I gave you ten years to live your life. Did that get you? You walked in my shadow. I trained you so the most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son, it's time for you to take your place by my side. You better watch out cause it's my time. That's not going to happen. Okay. Who are you? Aquafina, she's cute. I'm, I'm, I like this. I like this. I'm, I'm surprisingly smiling. I mean, well, not surprised. I, it's a that much of a surprise. I'm a big kid at heart. So, but I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. I like, I like a lot of that. That looked like reminds me a little bit of Speed, a little bit their interactions, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves type thing on the bus. But um. We can really see some real creative fighting in this. The likes of which that make Jackie Chan proud. And I feel like this is the direction that we can go into and make it superhuman in that aspect. And there's a lot there for it, especially within the Asian culture in terms of just like how they've approached a lot of their films that we can actually explore to kind of like really... Now, it, 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 it's you have a place to say they're super, you know what I mean? Instead of them just doing it because, like, that's the style. You can honestly sell this more because in the superhero world, a lot of the stuff that they do is damn near superhuman anyway, so you could kind of play into the cultural aspects of it and still make it make sense within relative to the world that they're in. So it, it could 
the fighting styles and stuff like that can actually measure up you know what i mean against like the supers, these, 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 the magic, the, you know what I mean, the type of villains that you're gonna end up having to deal with that could actually take Shang Chi from being this obscure hero that we didn't really know much about to elevating him to as a real significant threat to stand amongst the titans of the Marvel universe. And I look forward to see where they go with it because I come from old school kung fu flicks and ninjas. This is, this is for me, so I'm okay with this. And, and, and I'm really looking forward to see, like, the fighting, you know. So I'm cool with this. Uh, let's check this out again, man. And go. I didn't think that they was going to go this deep with the trailer. I thought it was going to be, like, really, really a, a hard tease. You know, barely seen anything. A lot of clips of something. And interviews, more like a featurette. I gave you 10 years to live your life. Now you see me rise. And where did that get you? You walked in my shadow. I trained you. Most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son, it's time for you to take your place by my side. You better watch out because it's my time. That's not going to happen. Hey man, they're taking it out of New York. I mean, it's too much going on in New York anyway, so you might as well just take them elsewhere. Show, like, really, like, take this story on the road. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. Like, I'll be honest with you, I'm. They've got a friend in me on this one, so let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for it? I mean, I'm not saying I'm blowing my mind over it, but I'm really liking what I see. Um. Yeah, it, it, it looks very Marvel formulated with the comedic angles. You know, that's going to be Aquafina. She's going to be the levity. And, and, and you know what I mean? Like I said, this is Marvel's recipe. And I'm not mad at the recipe. My whole thing is, I just want to make sure that we have a good story that we can see, that we can enjoy. And, uh, yeah, that's just where I'm, where I'm at here. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you like the Shang Chi trailer? Are you excited for it? Or you're not interested? And let me know in the comments below, man. You already know. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, I'll have a better outro. Cheers. You walked in my shadow. I trained you. Most dangerous people in the world.
We make a good team.